Hi, I'm Maggie Craddock, and a trip to my local grocery store has certainly kept it real for me in this crisis. There were long lines of people urgently focusing on getting the external resources they needed to keep themselves and their families afloat. And this reminded me of how important it is to also focus on our internal resources at a time like this. Because let's consider, when we look back on this period and the crisis has passed, and they always do, how will we have spent the precious resources of time and energy in between those moments that we were waiting for information? How will this period have shaped our relationships with important people in our lives, our loved ones, our friends, our families? And how will this shape our relationship with ourselves? There is a vital internal resource that's disappearing in our inner worlds faster than hand sanitizer is disappearing in our outer world. And that's gentleness. And it's understandable because gentleness comes in short supply when huge waves of adrenaline and fear overtake people. And feeling afraid and anxious is natural at a time like this. That is not the problem. But we need to be mindful about how we focus those waves of adrenaline and the ways that we respond. Gentleness helps us stop operating in the extremes and reminds us that the big power surges we get at a time like this often come from the little things. Pause when your loved ones walk in the room and savor what it's like to be with them. Focus on what you do have, your network, your innate talents, maybe even what's in your kitchen cupboard already. What do you need to motivate you? Go outside. Remember that inner resource of gentleness. Social distance, but make eye contact and wave. Remember, we're all in this together and inner resources matter.